about it. So Dr. Hotez, let's start with vaccines. You know, we heard some doctors yesterday warning the CDC yes, uh, yesterday in that meeting that public health officials and drug makers need to be transparent about the side effects that people may experience after they get that first shot of the vaccine. Yeah, I mean, there has not been a very strong communication plan coming out of Operation Warp Speed. Operation Warp Speed's been great in terms of scientific rigor and the integrity of the clinical trials, but there's been no communication strategy. It's all been left to the pharma CEOs, and more often than not, they've really fumbled on the message. So that has to be corrected, and, and pretty soon. Um, you know, the side effects can be unpleasant. It's often some say more the second dose than the first dose. So people have different experiences. That's usually pretty transient, uh, maybe low grade fever, uh, muscle aches and pains, fatigue. It shouldn't last more than a day. You know, in, in rare individuals, it, it will be more substantial. Uh, those of you who've gotten the Shingrix vaccine, uh, if you're over, I think, the age of 60, then people have reported similar effects. It's very manageable. And uh, you can medicate yourself with uh, anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen or, or, uh, or potentially Tylenol on the advice of your physician. Uh, but th this is, it's, it, it can be unpleasant for a day or so for most people, but uh, remember how life-saving it is. 95% effectiveness uh, to keep you out of the hospital or the intensive care unit for the Moderna vaccine or the, or the Pfizer vaccine. Now we have the new AstraZeneca vaccine, maybe slightly less level of effectiveness, but we don't know anything about durability of protection, so it'll all kind of even out in the wash. The, the point is, get your vaccines, save your life, save the life of your loved ones. This is, this is a very tiny price to pay. And this 